Hey guys, Dale Bateman here. On this episode of Build Your Success Online, I'm going to show you how to take your blog on the road and make some great friends along the way. Stay tuned. So what do I mean by taking your blog on the road? Well, I recently came across this very cool idea that some people are trying and I'm very anxious to try it myself and I wanted to pass it along to you so that you could give it a whirl yourself too. <clears throat> Basically, it's called doing a blog tour. Now, you may or may not be familiar with the concept of guest blogging. That's where you get into contact with uh, other bloggers who are in your same niche and who have an audience somewhat similar to yours. Maybe they're dealing with a, a different sort of a subject matter, but for all intents and purposes, they're dealing with the same sort of target audience that you are. Now, you don't feel like this is a competition. Feel like you're helping each other out by guest blogging on each other's blogs. You each get some fresh content that the other person has written for your audience so you don't have to write it yourself and uh, another benefit is you get more exposure because all of a sudden you're being uh, shown or your your writing is being shown on someone else's blog to perhaps an entirely different audience now the little spin that I'm anxious to put on it is uh, where we get to this blog tour. Treating it almost like uh, a concert or going on the road and uh, taking, taking your blog with you. So the first step is to find a few bloggers that uh, you respect, obviously, who are in your same niche or a close, a close niche to yours. And try to also pick people who've got a little bit more traffic coming to their site than you have. Then you get in contact with these people and just a word of warning, I wouldn't contact any real high-end bloggers because they probably wouldn't even give you the time of day. Uh, they have such a huge audience that something like this probably wouldn't be interesting to them. So keep it to more modest uh, bloggers, if you will, and uh, people without huge, huge numbers because they're probably going to jump all over it. <clears throat> They're going to think this is a great idea and you ask them what's your availability for allowing a guest blog in such and such a date and then all of a sudden you put together this very cool tour schedule you can do posters you can put it on your Facebook page you can share it with the other bloggers so they can start getting the word out that hey there's this cool event coming and all the readers will want to take part in it and come and see the new content because it's being promoted as something different. It's just not just a guest blogger. It's all of a sudden somebody with uh, some star power, if you will, or uh, something exciting that they, uh, they want to take part in, just like getting tickets and going to a concert. So that's my cool idea for uh, for taking guest blogging to the next level and you can do this with just about anything guys take a look at some common things that uh, common tasks that you do every day or uh, some unique ways that you can put a spin on things that maybe sound commonplace but by adding that unique twist you can really jump it up and make it into something truly unique and interesting for people. And that's what it's all about. It's about creating more interest, getting more engagement from people, and keeping them interested and coming back to your blog. Uh, now, secondly tonight, I want to talk to you, I want to give you five tips just quickly on building relationships. Because as you, as you grow as a blogger or as an online marketer, you uh, you're going to be sort of developing these partnerships if you will like for instance if you set up this blog tour and you go for it you're gonna have other bloggers that are essentially gonna be like your partners in this so I want to give you a few key tips 
on building quality relationships with potential partners online. Because if you approach it this way, you're going to have better luck and you're going to have a better chance of success. Because remember, you're not just doing it on your own this time. You're doing it with other people. So there's that interaction. You're just not this lone wolf who's out uh, doing their own thing. You have to take other people's ideas and uh, everything else into consideration as you move forward with a potential partnership. So let me share these points with you, okay? The first one is make it more personal. I want to give you an example here. Let's say you're trying to get a hold of this one blogger, you really want a guest blog on their site, and they just will not get back to you. Take the initiative, find out something cool or interesting about them, maybe something that they like, maybe a, a particular candy bar, or even taking it to an extreme, find out what their favorite sports team is. And if you're really anxious and really excited about getting in touch with them, go out and buy a couple of, uh, couple of tickets for the next home game and send them to them, okay? Chances are, after that game is over and the next time you get in contact with them, they're going to be a little more receptive. Now, you don't have to take it to that extreme, but even doing a little research in advance before you contact them and making sure you understand how they like to be uh, uh, contacted or the type of language they speak, all that kind of stuff really helps make an impression and kind of gets your foot in the door a little bit, okay? So keep that in mind. Make it more personal. Number two, be a better communicator. I want to read some statistics to you. When we are being presented with something, whether it be a message or a video or uh, just uh, watching a television program perhaps, here's some cool percentages on uh, what we actually get from different parts of that, okay? We only understand 7% of a message's meaning from the actual words. Only 7% from the actual words. We get 30% of the meaning from how it's being presented to us. Okay, so a bit more, but still not a huge number. So the rest of the 100%, the other 55% is actually coming from the speaker's face. That's right. You're getting more out of looking at the person's face who's giving that presentation to you than even the words or how it's presented. Okay? So keep that in mind and really try to hone down on your communication skills so that you are communicating effectively with these potential partners you want to work with. Okay? Speak their language get to know them a bit better and make sure that you are engaging with them and making them understand what you want to do moving forward. Number three, they must think of you first. Keeping people engaged um, is really one of the key things in just about anything to do with online or internet marketing, as you probably know. The more engaged you can keep your audience, when they're coming to your blog, the better chance they're going to eventually purchase your products or want to join your team if you're into network marketing or whatever it is you're doing. The more engaged, the more value you can give people, and this includes these potential partners of yours, continually give them stuff that they find interesting. You know, if you find something out that uh, maybe they didn't realize about their own business, let them know and they'll be thankful to you for letting them in on that uh, maybe little trade secret or something. So really work on your engagement and make sure that you are top of mind when people think about getting quality content and uh, stuff that they can use in their own business as well. Number four, all for one and one for all. Really I want you to make sure, guys, that you're understanding that this is a potential partnership, okay? Like I said before, you're not the lone wolf out in the, out in the woods uh, anymore. You're working with someone else or perhaps other people 
as well. Maybe you've got a group that you're working with. Really remember that and take it into consideration. Everybody's opinion counts and honestly, if you're not willing to hold up your end of the bargain moving forward, you shouldn't even start it at all. Because there's nothing worse than getting partway into a project with working with other people and all of a sudden somebody's not interested or things aren't going the way they thought so they want out. Okay, So be very upfront and very honest with your other partner or partners before you get started. Identify who's going to do which tasks and set some dates obviously and make sure you're getting things done on schedule. Okay. Uh, final point. Your word is everything. This is so true guys and it's really the most important thing I have to tell you today. Really be a person who uh, is a person of your word. All right. When you say you're going to do something, make sure you do it. Honesty and integrity are the, the utmost thing when we're talking about working with other people and building a business together. That's what we really have to identify with. You're building a business together and the integrity that you show by holding up your end of the bargain and being a person of your word is really, really important for you. Okay, so there you go. A few tips for you. Try out that uh, blogging tour thing that I mentioned before and keep these other tips in mind if you are thinking about partnering up with other people, especially getting into that guest blogging and the blog touring thing. So guys, that's all the tips I have for you today, but I will be back again tomorrow with more great tips and tricks to help you build your success online. If you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. You'll get lots of updates. Click over to my blog using the link in the description below and check out all the other content I have for you absolutely free at buildyoursuccessonline.com. So until next time, my name is Dale Bateman and I'm wishing you a fantastic day. Bye for now.